with respect to the suggestion that I be removed as foreign minister, I would want to say in all earnestness to the leadership of the People's United Party that they must study more Einstein, read Einstein, and, and especially his very cryptic aphorisms. You don't do the same thing over and over and expect a different result. They have been calling for my resignation from 2008. I know for a fact that it is not they alone who have been doing that. People very close to the prime minister, people who are in the UDP camp, very close to him, have been calling for my removal from 2008. And I have not been removed. And now it's kind of too late for that. 10 years after? <laughs> 11. 11 years after. And it seems as if the People's United Party leadership have learned nothing about it. You are calling for my removal from 2008. And I have been re-elected twice after that. Clearly, you are barking up the wrong tree. Futile demand. It's a futile demand. It shows to my mind that there is really a, a, an absence of imagination. There is a scarcity of originality. There's a barrenness in the party. The party needs really to have good thinkers. That's devoid of strategy. That's the devoid of good thinking. It's so obvious the people that Pixock used to be a PUP stronghold. I am the first candidate from the UDP that won it. And I have won it twice consecutively. And I will win it again. The truth is the only time I won't win Pickstock is when I decide not to run. And because it seems to me that they are so insistent on seeing the last of me, I am resolved to stay there very long now. And, 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 and I, must, I might just get more ambitious. I might just get more ambitious. I perhaps might get as ambitious as, ambitious as Johnny. I mean, as, as, as Cordell. So you have to tell them that they have got to be careful what they wish for. And over the last eight years, they have told every lie on me that they could tell. Every lie. Because nothing they said about me was true. Nothing. It was all propaganda, lies. And they still don't learn. And they won't find anything negative to talk about me. I don't steal from the poor people. I don't betray my country in the interest of any powerful capitalists. I don't badmouth my country. I don't take advantage of my constituents. Man, woman, boy or girl, all I do is to spend all my time trying to enhance the status of my constituents and my country. And in like manner, on the international scene, all I do is try to enhance the status of Belize with tremendous success.